Oh, yeah. I was reminded of a great quote by the late, great Zig Ziglar the other day, and it said, money isn't everything, but it's right up there with oxygen. Too true. Many people in the UK, um, small businesses especially, are really funny about asking for money, asking for what they are worth, reviewing their prices, getting the company valuation they deserve, because they're just a bit well, funny about money. Um, my friends, I have got to say it loud and proud, I am not running this business for any charitable means. I am in it for the money, specifically for the money and the lifestyle that money will facilitate for my children and my wider family and me. But you see, I hadn't really used this principle, particularly in the last three years of my business. We've been very focused on expansion and expansion doesn't necessarily go hand in hand with profit. So this month we are getting stuck back down to the nitty gritty of profit making. As my good Mucker Terry Gormley says, where the focus goes, the energy flows. So this month we are all about making the money. And it's appearing from everywhere, from franchises owing me money to legal action on slow payers or getting payment up front. All of a sudden it's starting to flow in. So much so I'm now forecasting a tripling of our profit year to date between now at the end of February and by our year end in May. Now, I know a lot of people will say, make money your king and it will bring you unhappiness, but actually neglect looking after it and it will become a crisis. I know a lot of people want to pursue their passion, serve the wider community or simply do something they love and then don't consider whether these things will actually be sustainable, which then causes them anguish and dashed dreams. So I'm encouraging you to go back to profit, crunch your numbers, make your dream work financially for you first, and then let the rest follow. Too often, the profit is the last thing we focus on on small businesses, and I'm gonna encourage you to turn it on its head. Focus on your financial goals as a business, and you'll have a chance of reaching them. Focus on everything else first, as I've done, to be frank, for many years, and profit will be the last thing you achieve. Two key ingredients for achieving your financial goals. Know what number you're aiming for and make sure your business is working towards fulfilling these big goals. You know, get your big number, whether it's your sustainable income or the sale valuation, then you have a clear goal to be aiming for. And then secondly, make sure it actually financially works. There's many people who plan this vision and then their numbers don't actually stack up. Do your planning beforehand and then budget for a lot less revenue, a lot more cost, and then you'll have some idea of whether you can make your financial dream a future reality. Finally, you have to adjust your headspace. Ask for the money. Have the conversation about money first. Ask for what you deserve as a leader in your business, what lifestyle you require, and make sure it's fulfilled. We can sacrifice for a bit to invest in our futures, but in the end, it is all about the money, honey. The money for you and your family. So go get it. Good luck.